What is going on everybody? Jonathan here with Gig Nation. Today we're gonna to be looking at the top four apps that pay you to move stuff in your car or truck. So I wanted to switch up and kind of talk about this topic because a lot of people don't know that this is one of the highest paying sectors of the gig economy. And another thing that a lot of my subscribers don't know is that I actually spent a couple of years working for Dolly doing a lot of deliveries as a hands before I even ever even tried out food delivery. So this was kind of my go-to, my bread and butter. I liked doing it because I like to work out. I like to stay fit. I actually pay like 50 bucks a month for a gym membership. So I realized I could actually just get paid to move stuff, get my workout in and be making some pretty decent coin while I did it. So I'm going to run through all of these different companies where you can sign up to start moving with them. Uh, they're in certain select cities. Now I'm not going to get into all of the cities. I will update them at gigsharks.com where they are available. So you can definitely check in there uh, later as well. And then I'm going to get into exactly how much each of these different apps will pay you out for moving stuff uh, people that want to you know move apartments move houses or people that just want goods delivered uh, from point a to point b how much you can make moving things with these apps and i'll show you guys exactly how to sign up for each of these different apps if you want to give it a try and i'll give you a couple tips and tricks that i learned personally from doing some moving in the past because like I said it can pay out pretty well customers tend to be pretty appreciative of you moving big and heavy things they're willing to pay a little bit more for this service and they tip out very well so most of these apps I believe all of them give you a hundred percent of the tips and the tips are some of the best in the business because you know like I mentioned People recognize that moving is very hard. It takes a toll on you. It's something that they you know, would not want to do. They really feel like you're being a lifesaver here. People are very grateful when you help them out with this type of service. So the tips end up being really well and the payouts can be really good. So I'm gonna show you guys you know, a couple tips and tricks that I learned and help you guys do this more efficiently. Let's go ahead and hop into this list though. So the first moving company on the list is Dolly. And I put it on here first because it's the one that I worked for. So Dolly is actually present in a lot of different areas. Uh, they're present on the West Coast, on the East Coast, and a couple places in between. They've done a really good job of expanding to most major cities. So Dolly allows you to move stuff with a truck, with a box truck, a cargo van, or your own car. And depending on what size of rig you have, this qualifies you for different levels of earnings. So Dolly advertises on their website that if you're just operating as a hands, that means you have your own car, like what I was doing, that you make $15 an hour and up. And if you have a truck, it's $30 an hour and up. Uh, and this is kind of an oversimplified uh, estimate because Dolly hands can make a lot more than $15 an hour. If you know how to pick out different tasks, then you can do a lot better than this. Everything is thrown to you. You can see exactly how many items are going to be moved in the app, what size of items these are, and how far you're going to be delivering them. So if it's, you know, just a couple items and the delivery distance is not that far, you can really do pretty well here. You can end up making a lot of good money. And, you know, assuming the delivery is not during rush hour or something, you know, that's something that a veteran uh, delivery mover will tell you then you're gonna make some pretty good coin here. But if you have a larger vehicle, then this really scales up. A truck uh, gets paid out a lot more. Their payment platform has always worked out so that the truck driver is the helper. They make 60% of every single move. And if they need a hands, then that hands is taking 40%. Uh, so it really does pay to have a truck. And if your truck is bigger, then you get bigger moves which pay more. So if you have a box truck, you can really make a ton of money during the right time of the year in Seattle. This was really good during the spring and the summer. A lot of people were out moving around and they wanted Dolly to help assist them. Now, as I mentioned previously, I did do this for a while. I posted a single video on the channel. It was one of my first videos about moving with Dolly and I filmed it uh, kind of in the dark in this car actually. Uh, so not a lot has changed over the past year. I'm still making videos in my car, uh, but I go into the details of how much you can exactly earn delivering with Dolly. And I will tell you that one of my best deliveries, uh, it actually ended up taking less than an hour and netting like $130 in that hour. That's not consistent. There's a huge spectrum. You gotta be smart about how you pick uh, these moving opportunities up but you can make really good money if you're in the right place at the right time and accepting the right kind of move. 
Okay, so let's hop into the next platform here, and that is GoShare. So they are really popular in California, Texas, Colorado, and of course the East Coast. They're one of the bigger names also in this moving app industry. So if you're looking to do one of these gigs, make some really good money, I would definitely recommend checking them out. All right, so let's take a look at the GoShare website right here. And so if you have a normal truck, you can get paid out $47 per hour. A large truck is 61, a van is also 61 an hour. And then if you have a box truck, that is $71 per hour. And so these are just average estimates. Uh, GoShare is a lot like Dolly, so you can be making some really good money here. Uh, you know, the same metrics apply where people like to tip a lot of money and they'll also pay more for this type of thing. In order to be eligible as a GoShare driver, you have to have a vehicle that's at least 2001 or newer. You gotta be at least 18 years old and you have to be able to pass a background check, clear driving history, uh, all of those you know simple things. You gotta be able to have an iPhone or an Android to pick up those orders. And then you can go ahead and get started on the app and start you know, selecting these different moves that you wanna do and making some of that good money helping people get from point A to point B with their stuff. Another one of the things that I really like about GoShare is the fact that they provide insurance for all of their drivers. That means that if something happens to you while you're moving, you are protected if you get into an accident out there, which is really important uh, for drivers in the gig economy to make sure that they have you know, that coverage. Uh, most of these apps do require that you have your own personal insurance, but it's really nice to see a company step in and also provide that uh, some of their own coverage for drivers. The third app that can be an awesome opportunity for people that want to make some extra cash helping people move is Lug. Lug is a really cool app and it's one of the faster growing apps right now. They're really big on the West Coast. So anywhere from Seattle, Portland, Sacramento, LA, San Francisco, Phoenix, uh, all of those places Lug is very popular in, but they are expanding quickly. So if you're somewhere else, you know, kind of just hold tight. They will probably get to you soon. And Lug is really advertising some really high rates. They say you can make up to 2.5K a week and you can get paid out daily, which is really a cool feature that a lot of movers, drivers, really just anyone in the gig economy likes to have. Now, as far as the earnings go, that advertising of 2,500 a week, that's really a high number. I don't know exactly how much Lug pays because I've only uh, moved stuff for Dolly. But what I will say is that you actually you know, can make up to 2,500 on a lot of these apps. Uh, Lug is really just taking advantage of that advertising, uh, you know, letting you know that drivers are making up to that amount is really cool. It's a good way to get you in, but you can definitely make that much on other apps as well. So don't get too down if Lug is not in your city. So what types of things are you gonna be moving in the Lug app? Well, a lot of these are gonna be small moves. You'll also help people move purchases from stores, uh, stuff from Craigslist, and also donations uh, to and from the Goodwill. And if you wanna be eligible to start moving with Lug, your car has to be 2001 or newer. You have to be at least 18 years old and you gotta be able to lift 100 pounds. Uh, once again, this is a moving job, so you do have to expect to do some lifting if you're gonna do the job. So last but not least on this list is Burrow. I did put it last because it's really just a Texas thing right now. They're available in Austin, uh, but they're also available in San Marcos. So they do have a couple of locations, but I wanted to include it because they do have some unique attributes uh, that are very advantageous for people that wanna make some of that good moving money, but maybe don't wanna lift as much. And so they provide a couple of cool stats on their website. And one of those is that the average total weight is 92 pounds during these moves. And that 90% of the moves are actually just a couple items. So like two items here or there that need to be moved, which is definitely different. You know, some of these other services that are advertising uh, really high pay, people are moving entire apartments, houses. I know from my personal experience that I had a ton of dolly moves where people were moving apartments, moving into a new house that they just bought. And so, you know, you are moving an entire truckload of things, uh, maybe sometimes even picking up a U-Haul uh, and moving an entire U-Haul. So that means you have to move stuff out of the old house. You have to organize it in the U-Haul and then move it to the new place. Uh, but with Burrow, it's a lot more simple and simplified. You move just a couple of things, which might be, you know, advantageous. Maybe you don't want to just uh, kill yourself trying to move stuff all day long. You want to just move a couple items here or there. Burrow might be a better fit for you if you live in Texas. And so what are a couple of cool stats uh, with Burrow? Well, one, they advertise that you can make 
$1,600 per week, but then they have some like top earner stats and they do show you that one of the borough drivers actually made $610 in a single day and their highest paid mover made about $57,000 in a year. I'm sure these stats have changed over time, uh, but you know that's a pretty good payout just for uh, moving things in your own car, in your own vehicle, and kind of having that choice to work when you want and where you want. All right, so that rounds out the list. If I missed a moving app, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know the name of the app, where it's available, stuff like that, and I'll make sure to add it to the list or make another video about it later. If you have worked for any of these apps moving, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'd like to get a conversation going with you and tell you about my experience, see how that compared to yours, because honestly, I had a pretty cool experience with it. I really liked this side hustle. You know, like I mentioned, the money was crazy good. Uh, I was getting outside, I was helping people. These people uh, were really, you know, grateful that I was helping them move. Sometimes other types of gig economy stuff, people, you know, kind of say like, oh, food delivery might not be that hard. I'm not that grateful. I don't want to tip that much or they're not super happy when you get them their food. Uh, but doing these moving apps, people were always, you know, uh, very, very happy. I'm not going to say 100% of the time because you get people in a bad mood, but for the most part, you're making people's lives a lot easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest gig economy updates. Also make sure you join the Facebook group at Gig Nation because we literally talk about everything related to the gig economy. And once again, if you're looking for that next gig, that next side hustle to make money, make sure to check out gigsharks.com because I list all of these by city. And it's important in the gig economy to make sure that you are kind of maximizing your earnings with the right apps. And one of the best ways to do that is just to find all of the apps available in your area. So go to gigsharks.com and make sure to check those out.